Hey everyone, welcome to the Daily Word. I'm I'm really glad that you've joined me, and we're gonna we're gonna jump in today to Luke 13 for our Daily Word. I want to share the Word of the Lord from verses 31 and 32, and then let's uh, let's talk uh, just a bit today uh, about our our confidence to do the work of God, the confidence that we have that the purposes of God will be fulfilled in our lives. We read here, At that time, some Pharisees said to him, Get away from here if you want to live. Herod Antipas wants to kill you. Jesus replied, Go tell that fox that I will keep on casting out demons and healing people today and tomorrow, and the third day I will accomplish my purpose. Now, Herod Antipas is one of the the sons of Herod the Great, and he is a a tetrarch. He's given part of Herod's territory to to rule, and so he, as kind of his primary territory, he rules uh, Galilee, which is where Jesus' hometown of Nazareth is. It's where Capernaum is, the uh, the town that kind of becomes the hub of Jesus' ministry. Galilee is, is certainly central to the ministry uh, of Jesus. And what this, um, what this man tells him is that he's got a bone to pick with you. And keep in mind, not only is he an authority, but um, he has John the Baptist uh, beheaded. Jesus is in, informed that he's this same guy has like, um, got a problem with you. And, um, and, and most uh, would actually cower at that. Most would go into hiding at, uh, at these threats. But Jesus responds that um, even the most powerful, even the most powerful that would threaten us cannot thwart the promises of God. Listen to the language of what Jesus says. I will keep on. These threats will not stop me. I will keep on in the mission uh, of the Lord. I will accomplish, he says. I will keep on. I will accomplish. And, and we who uh, follow the Lord, we, um, we know that, that he has redeemed us, that we are, we are his, and that we know that he has plans and purposes for our lives, that he is sovereign, we know that that no one and nothing can actually kill the purposes of God. What Jesus says here is actually similar to what he says in John 19.11. And this is where Jesus is having this interchange before Pilate. And Pilate essentially tells him, I mean, don't you understand that I have the power of life and death over you? Why why aren't you engaging more? What's going on here? Don't you know I've got this power over you? And Uh, Jesus says to him, you would have no power over me at all unless it were given to you from above. We are beholden to no one but God himself. We are called by the Lord to fear no man, to fear nothing but God himself. We know, we know that this is true because Jesus has defeated for us. He has defeated the ultimate threat that the world can hold over us. That is, on the cross, by His resurrection, Jesus has defeated death. On His cross, He took our sins. He has paid the price in full for all of our sins. We are forgiven, washed free. He has defeated there on the cross all of the spiritual forces of wickedness. They are all disarmed. They can still bluster. They they can still try to manipulate. They can still try to threaten and accuse and discourage. And yet he he has defeated them all. He has humiliated them all by his death and his resurrection. By his resurrection, Jesus Christ has given us a life that is indestructible. He has defeated death itself. Notice what he says. The third day I will accomplish my purpose. That third day is resurrection day. And it is on that day that he accomplishes his victory for us. His purpose that he would accomplish on that third day is life. And so friends, let us not live in fear let us not fear that the Lord's purposes for our lives will, will not come to pass. 
In fact, no matter what happens in this life, we know that God's purposes will prevail. We know that the greatest threat that the world has over us has been defeated. We have an indestructible life in Jesus. We have a Lord who is sovereign over all things, and we can trust Him that the good work He has begun in us, He will see through to completion. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. And friends, until we get a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that He would keep you.